Welcome. Welcome. I guess music. There we go. Yes. Music. Mm. You know things. Okay. Yes. Mm. Oh, he loves your voice. Welcome to Creature Eats. Mm. It's the doggy barking. I'm DJ Hunchback. Mm. And I love tips. <laughs> well, tonight on Creature Eats, we have a special guest. Gertie. Gunk. Gertie Gunk. Gunk. And I present you, Gertie Gunk. Hey, y'all. I'm Gertie Gunk. Today I'm about to make some of my world famous slop of the sabbatic goats thing. <laughs> so, today I will start with, uh, wait, hold on. Tupac. Okay. So, I will start with uh, the ingredients. Are the ingredients up? Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> Yes, master. Ingredients. Mmm, yes. So we'll have one cup of green lentils, one cup of quinoa, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, salt to taste, 32 ounces of vegetable broth, five cloves of garlic, one medium sweet onion, chopped, 10 ounces of criminy mushroom. It could be any mushroom. My friend you know, suggested heirloom, but criminy is what I had in the fridge, so whatever. Uh, baby spinach, 16 ounces, five ounces of grape tomatoes, one and a half cups of goat's milk yogurt, that's where the magic comes in, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, Wor Worcestershire sauce? How do you say Worcestershire so sauce? Mm, I don't know. I don't say many words good. It's, it's, it's a weird one. One splash of tamari, to keep it, it's gluten-free. If you want it to be not gluten-free or you don't give a shit, I really don't give a shit, uh, you can use regular soy sauce. One tablespoon of stinging nettles, dried powder, half a teaspoon of uh, dried sage, thyme, and rosemary, one bay leaf, yes, Tupac, juice from half a lemon, and pepper to taste. There you go. No back on. So, let's get started. After he sh two packs. I get it. He's he's ugly. He's ugly. He's ugly. He doesn't. Yeah, come here, he doggy. doesn't like him. He's ugly. Mm, come here. No, don't run away. Mm. So first, to to speed things up, I've actually had the uh, lentil soaking for a couple of hours. I'm gonna throw this in my handy dandy uh, rice cooker. I'm throwing the quinoa. One and a half cups of water, and about uh, two cups of vegetable broth. I like Trader Joe's because I think they got their shit together. Gertie, why are you vegetarian? Uh, I ain't a vegetarian. I just sometimes I don't like eating animals in front of my friends. All my friends are animals, but sometimes I I do I do like meat sometimes. So I, I need to get better at the switch. I have ruined my joke. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm about. I'm gonna put this. Turn on the rice cooker. Put it on brown rice. <laughs> and we'll get started with the cooking. You gotta set that and forget that. Let's mm. See. But don't forget um, it. Actually, yeah. The instructions say don't forget it because you could burn your house down. So I'm gonna get stove started. Get the pan nice and hot. I'm gonna start crushing some garlic in my my favorite mortar and pestle. Actually, got this about 20 years ago in Chinatown. It's not my oldest cooking tool, but it's my favorite. That's your camera over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Getting nice and hot. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. About 
two tea, should be a tablespoon, but that was a little bit more. So with the quinoa and lentils in this soup, you're going to get a lot of protein, fiber, and magnesium. Iron as well for your blood. Everyone loves good blood, mm, right? Blood. Wait, oh. DJ Hunchback needs to organize his soundboard. <laughs> blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't hear sound effects. Mm, but they can. <laughs> So I'm gonna toss in half the, the the garlic. Garlic is an aphrodisiac, so, you know, I love a lot of garlic. I only put half in at once, because I like to have like layers of garlic flavor. I like more cooked garlic, and towards the end I'll add some more fresh garlic to keep it spicy, you know. I'm, I'm winking, but I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Aren't you always wink? Yeah, but this is a more sexual kind of winking. Is that something in your eye? Shut up. Then we'll add in some onions. Add a little sweaty. I love them sweaty onions. It's already smelling so fucking delicious. So I'm throwing in my my mushrooms after I got those onions a little sweaty. Mm, I eat plain onions too. It muses like. For real, not for joke. Because <laughs> that would sound like a joke in my current state. In my current state. Oh, ah, why do I look like a guy from LMFAO or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I add a little salt for purification and taste. Oh, oh my, my lord. This corgis. Oh, so while that's sauteing, I'm actually going to get my herbs. I got my rosemary, sage, and thyme. And I put it in my older mortar and pestle. I'm going to grind it up. Rosemary, thyme, and sage are wisdom and protection powerhouses. I make friends with dog. Mm. Really want to. <laughs> this two box Shikorgi. Oh, Mr. Shikorgi. I wonder what he tastes like. Will you cook him next? <laughs> never. Oh, never mind. See, this is why I got it. I got to teach about vegetarianism because you can't even keep your dogs around people your friends your own goddamn friends want to eat your dog so I got these herbs ground and it only needs about three pinches yeah and then you throw a one pinch behind yeah, another pinch behind you're not in your camera. Oh. Yeah, you stay there. Does that work? <laughs> or do you move the camera? It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Throwing it behind me. This is how you get rid of those pesky demons that keep bothering you. Rosemary, thyme, and sage. Also, if you have a little extra, put it in a little mojo bag for special suitors. I know I got me a couple of boyfriends that way. Oh. What's your type, Gertie? Long. Oh, wait. 
What do you mean? <laughs> Not tight. Oh, funny. I, lo- I love I love funny, charming, quiet men. Hey, Gertie. Why did the Why did the captain kick the werewolf off the submarine? Why? Just tell because me why. He liked to sleep with the window open. <laughs> I wish I could work sound effects. <laughs> While I tell joke, I can't. So while this is going, I'm actually going to add a little stinging nettles. This is really good for your kidneys and liver. Also good for your metabolism. And I'm going to add a bay leaf, also from Trader Joe's. It has, it's good for good luck and confidence. You don't want to eat the bay leaf. I don't usually take it out because I'm a rustic type of bitch. But if you do get it in your pot or your bowl, it's good luck. No, crap. I mean, what do, you, what do you call... Shh, forget that. What do you call wood when it's scared? Petrified? Oh. <laughs> now I'm about to add some tomatoes. While I'm uh, stirring this shit up. Yes, yeah, anyone have any comments, questions for Gertie or DJ Hunchback? He like questions and tips. Because he doesn't get paid. Oh. Eight Muse want to know what your skincare routine? Lots of uh, olive oil all over my from my face to my toes i love me some olive oil and then some stinging nettles actually raw stinging nettles perfect for this blistery complexion hey gertie Yes. What kind of candy do doctors give out on Halloween? What what kind of candies do they give out on Halloween? Candy corneas. Nice. <laughs> I need button for laugh. Oh lord. <laughs> God seven want to know what heat on stove. It's about medium. It's medium right now. Medium heat. Oh, Vex effects just went subtomic. Mm. Oh, hey, Vex. Hey. Thank you, Vex. Goo. Subs, goo. Barks bad. She's not at stove, so I guess you look at me. Oh, she... Uh-oh, dog got in trouble. I don't think you want smell vision when I'm in the room. <laughs> oh, good, she back. I'm not very good at talking. He does. He smells bad. <laughs> We're gonna keep this cooking down. Oh, 
Jiffy Betty, not very okay. nice. What? Well, it's not very nice. You don't want to know. Tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Jiffy Betty, Gertie says fuck off! So now, I'm going to add a splash of tamari. You can use soy sauce. But it won't be gluten-free because this is a gluten-free recipe. And the gluten-free Worcestershire sauce. The quinoa and the lentils are cooking, so it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute. <laughs> mm. Anyone have question in the meantime? I'm an open book. Open book of spells, shadows. Let me know. I'm all ears. One less eye, but all ears. Oh, camera's on clip. Worm clip. Good. Sun God, can you add carrots to this? Oh, carrots would be a lovely addition to this, actually. If we had carrots, I'd add some. This is all I had in pantry while we came up with this show idea, so... Here we are making one of my famous stews. Well, it's not really famous. I mean, it's famous to all my friends. I got like two of them. They love it. How you come up with idea? For the stew or for the show? Stew. Oh, just with bullshit I had. You know, you look up, you, you, you have like some quinoas and lentils. And you're like, hmm, what should I make today? And then you got like the, basically it's just whatever bullshit I have and I try to make it taste good. Hey, Gary. <laughs> yes. What? What? what music do mommies like to listen to? What music do they like listening to? Rap music. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh Lord, he needs something. Oh, recipe, yeah, good. Good idea, sun god. This what she make. Slop of sabbatic goat. Soup or slop. I'll leave that there for a minute. You're doing another step? No, it's gonna take a minute for the next step. Oh. So we got a minute? Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. DJ. DJ Hunchback, play a song. Hmm. Too short. Wait, here's another one. How about this one? Oh, that's loud. Very loud. Ah, bad. Oh. 
DJ Hunchback, make this! Mmm, he was a good tassel in face bad. Ah. You do something now? Another step? All steps are oh, done, wait. so this is done. Here, it's on you now. Dance party! It's a monster match! Inspired DJ, DJ, uh, DJ Hunchback. Mm, no question. Mm. <laughs> DJ Hunchback have nothing much to say. Ah, uh, uh, he, he think, he think about it. Am I on camera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna add oh, the rest of it. Let me fade down music. Like real DJ. Well, this is going great. <laughs> so now I'm about to add my vegetable stock, the rest of it. This, um, DJ Hunchback made this. <laughs> DJ Hunchback almost said DJ Humpback. <laughs> that different DJ. Oh, I love DJ Humpback. So what do you do now? So I added the stock, and I'm gonna let this go to it come to a boil. And once it's getting a little hot, I'm gonna temper. The goat's milk yogurt. Is this in, in frame in the camera? See this? The goat's milk yogurt. Mm. There's nothing sweeter than the nectar from the goat's teat. So it has to boil first, hmm? A, a low boil. Once this broth gets a little hot, we'll add it to the, to the goat's milk yogurt so it doesn't curdle when you add it to the soup. You have to temper any sort of dairy before you add it to hot soup or it's gonna curdle and get, get a little chunky and nasty. I mean, some people like that, but you know, I'm a little more refined than that. Being a swamp bitch, I'm still a little refined. Oh, Vex. <laughs> DJ Humpback told that story about a week ago. I mean, nah, about a week back. <sighs> DJ Hunchback bad at jokes. <laughs> You're a good kind of bad at jokes. DJ bad at switch, dead space. No DJ like dead space. Anyone have a question? Question? From the, the, the thing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so 
questions now? Gertie! What? Ghosts? I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> ah. What monster favorite ride at carnival? Or amuse amusement park? What? The roller coaster! I got a joke. I, I have a joke. Oh, Gertie have, have a joke. Well, it's Wait. My, my only joke. Hey, it's my favorite joke. Gertie probably better joke than me. I love this joke. What kind of bee makes milk? What kind of, I don't know, Gertie. What kind of bee make milk? A booby. A booby. It's, it's my only Wait. joke. Oh, I can't get to a sound effect quick enough. Right here. Imagine this happened <laughs> second ago. Wait. Oh, God. DJ Hunchman need to organize desktop before he starts stream. Ah, uh, wait. Here. Okay, she just said joke. I don't, I don't even know if that worked. I hope so. Oh, still on me. Ah, uh, there. Are we at rolling boil yet? It's, it's, a, it's at a soft boil. You don't want it ro rolling boiling. So actually I'm going to start tempering the, the goat's milk yogurt. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the hot soup broth to it. Oh. I'm going to need a little spoon. What did I thought I had. What'd you say that called? It's it's tempering, tempering the 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 yogurt. Mm. I gotta get a spoon. Oh, you're back now. Okay. Okay. Wait, okay. Sun God says, "What vampire always eat? Why? Wait." What vampire always eat junk food? Wait. Gertie. I came up with this. What vampire always eat junk food? What? 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 What kind? Oh, wait. Say it. Say it again. Say it again. What kind of vampire yeah. always eats junk food? That's flawless. A, a snackula. <laughs> I just came up with that. I just, that was me. I got that. That was all me. I'm sure you that, did. I'm me. sure that was all you. Uh-huh. So you want to just keep adding a little broth until it's a little warmer. You don't want to add too much hot broth at once because then it will start curdling. How are you going to fit all that soup in the bowl? It's not all going in the bowl. Oh. This is just to temper it, and then I'm about to toss it in the in the soup. Well, not right now, but once the lentils are done. So while that's tempering, any questions, or should we... Anyone have question? I flash recipe again. Mmm, she making slop of sabbatic goat. Good. Has quinoa, <coughs> lentils, lots of protein, iron, potassium, magnesium. It's really good for uh, you vegetarians who are lacking in protein. Also, if anyone want to know, that Baphomet. Copyright okay. <laughs> we ain't getting sued for that shit. Wish I had other Baphomet to make funny joke, but <laughs> Oh, I I think I I think I'm coming up with more jokes. Um wait, Sun God sir I mean, I just came up with this. Ah uh, Thank you, Sun Gertie, God. What what do you do with a very green monster? What do you do with him? You wait until it's ripe. 
<laughs> like a banana. <laughs> oh, did I miss question? Anyone else have have questions? <laughs> uh, so this how it should be boiling? Yep. So that not a rolling boil. That's soft boil. Soft boiling. Is that how you do the eggs? Uh, you don't soft. Well, no. <laughs> oh. It's just not a rapid boil. It's just a soft boil. I I never know why DJ Hunchback laugh. Oh, oh, I think I have joke inspiration. Uh, Big Mac, I mean, um, what do you, wait, what do you call a fake noodle? What do you call a fake noodle? Oh, I missed it. What do you call it? Ah, forget. Ah, uh, an impasta. Oh, that's actually a good one. That's, that's good. a good food joke. I like there monster we joke, go. but that one good too. Where's the protein in the slop coming from? Sun God want to know. Oh, so there's a lot of protein in quinoa and also lentils. Lentils aren't complete proteins, but the, the quinoa has some really <coughs> healthy proteins. And also there's protein in the goat's milk yogurt. So you say that's all healthy dish? It's a very healthy dish. Actually, goat's milk is really good for your heart, for your skin. It's good for your... It's easier to digest than regular dairy. Um, it's good for anemia because it helps you, uh, digest iron better. So it's actually a really, really healthy dish. Mm. And it tastes better than mm. cow, cow yogurt. Ugh. I thought you'd say something else. <laughs> Grave mistake want this to be a weekly thing. We'll see. <laughs> It's, we're what, having fun so far. What kind of dishes would you guys like to see, actually? Because oh. I, I have a, a brain full of full of recipes, and I don't know. I would like to narrow it down. Yeah, what what you like to see? She make lots of stews. Did I already say you put the ghoul in goulash? Did he? I don't know. <laughs> But if I didn't, I was going to say that when I introduced you. He's a gorgeous man. He's, he is a gorgeous man, and I love that musical brain of his. Yeah, it's all back here. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's is where that I keep it. it. I'm like a camel, like, but music in the back. Oh. You squeeze me too hard and weird sound come out. Oh, well, that's quite sexy. I had no idea. <laughs> no, DJ Hunchback doesn't like to be squeezing. No squeezer for DJ Hunchback. Well, anyway. Oh, here. We cut back to a recipe in case you missed it. I think you can take screenshot. Maybe we'll put it up online. Oh, Pinefeller wants something with jackfruit. Oh, I love jackfruit. That's very jackfruit. Filipino. I bet you'd know all about jackfruit. I have never cooked with it, but I know that it's a really great meat substitute for vegans. I just haven't haven't tried it yet, so that's something to look into. How people survive without meat? They don't. They don't survive. You know why you not put any meat in your stew? <laughs> just kidding. They survive. They have to make sure they have a good balance of protein and fat, healthy fats. That's how they survive. I don't know how vegans survive. I don't. I don't know. What vegan? They don't. They don't even use any uh, like animal products. So say they don't use any yogurt. They don't use milk, like the bone honey. and the gristle. No. And the guts. I tried it. I they can't. don't use the best part. Yeah, those are the best parts. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know how vegans survive. Because I, I got sick trying to be vegan once. 
before they called it vegan. Back then they just called it crazy. Back in the, what, 1700s, whatever. If anyone wants me to put recipe back up, just ask. Because I, I can read comments. Yes, comments good. Ah ha ha. So right now we're just waiting on the quinoa and lentils to cook up in the in the crock pot or the rice cooker. Oh, Big Mac, good, yeah. Gertie. Hmm. If you're a cannibal and you come to dinner late, you get a what? What do you get? I missed that one. The cold shoulder! <laughs> <coughs> DJ Hunchback, I have no voice after this. How is fun? Oh, after this, DJ Hunchback and special guest Gertie Gumtrue. Uh, Gertie Gunk! Uh, whatever. Son of uh, a bitch. Karaoke after this. Dinner then karaoke. Oh, what song should we sing? Because oh. actually, I, I, I really. Been a little rusty with the karaoke's. I'm not sure what songs they have. Oh, Juliana want to know. What exactly is stinging nettle and where can you buy it? So stinging nettle is a plant that actually, if it's not tempered correctly, it, it could give you an itch, but it's actually really high in nutrients. It's really good for you. Um, I get mine from Mountain Rose Herbs online. It's in a powdered form, and it's really delicious. It's high, highly nutritious. I recommend it. And I would not get stinging nettles from Amazon or anything like that because I wouldn't trust it. That's my opinion about stinging nettles. But free next day. It's free same day. Yeah, when it comes You can be stinging in no time. Yeah, you could be stinging in no time if you get it from the wrong source, so... That's the way I like it. No, you don't like it that way? Mm. Oh. But, yeah, stinging nettles is really good for your kidneys and your liver, liver, and it's good for your metabolism, and it's also good for protection and breaking those goddamn curses that your ex-boyfriends put on you. I have many of those ex-boyfriend curse. Yes. Mm. Oh, tell me about it, sister. And girlfriend, too. They bad. Mm. Fuck curses. Eight muses. I look through playlists on Twitch Sing, and I actually look for toxic. They don't have it. Mm. Toxic. Sad. Toxic. Britney Spears. Toxic. Oh, is that like? Don't you know that I'm toxic? Is that the one? <coughs> that the one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that would have been. Good. <coughs> That would have been a good one. Oh. Yeah, what everyone go-to karaoke song? Oh, yeah, what's your go-to karaoke song? Also, as Moobot just pointed out, I know this guy named Sig, and he has a podcast, and it's really dumb and stupid, and you should listen to it. There's a link. <laughs> that's, that's not self-promotion, because I'm DJ Hunchback. <laughs> So what happened now? Still waiting for this goddamn rice cooker to do its thing. Oh. Here recipe again. For those miss it. Oh, I love that song Money. Is that what it called? RuPaul? Money, 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 money. Oh. It's Big Frida and oh, RuPaul. Yeah. Mm. When I'm in the club, I got the money, 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 money. How'd that go again? Something, something, the money, 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 money. I think so. Yeah. I, I, I kind of know. Camera can't handle your twerk. Oh, I can't, or I can't reach it. The both. Huh. Huh. Almost. I'm impressed. Let me try to do a levitation oh, spell. Uh, I don't have it in me today. 
DJ Hunchback would shit his pants if you started levitating right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he would do. He would probably <laughs> run down the street. He would be very unnerved. Next time I gotta work on my net levitation. I'm not really a levitation lady. A soup can. Soup can. Still mm -hmm. low boil. Waiting for that lentil and quinoa to get get done. Actually, I'm going to open this up and Whoa. toss it in. Get this party so, started. So, why, I don't know if you said, why you use rice cooker? Oh, because it actually boils things a lot faster. This is just to speed up, speed up the process. It's not really necessary. It's, uh, it's just our way to speed it up for the show. But it still took a long ass time. Actually, I think this might be good. Oh, Sun God want to know. Gertie, what is your type of magic? Oh, I love uh, white magic, green magic. A little bit of red magic. Not really too into black magic unless it's for protection. Eight muses say magic, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I love magic mics. Oh no, magic mic joke made me miss action of four. Oh. Oh, you missed it. Oh, I so I poured. Oh, I got tail end. Okay, so I just poured in the... Hey, not my fault. Magic Mike was a good one. It was a good one. So I poured in the lentils. The lentils in the quinoa. I'm going to stir it up. Oh, it smells so fucking delicious. Going to make sure it's not too hot. It was really boiling from the rice cooker. Make sure when you transfer your shit from the rice cooker to your pot that you're very careful because the rice cooker is like rapid intensive boiling so it's not it's not boiling too much i'm going to add my tempered yogurt in it's actually going to be almost done Whoa. we were just waiting on that goddamn rice cooker mm. so a little bit at a time what temper look like is it angry no, the angry good. goat i think this is the sweetest goat Do you pour in slow for a reason yep to make sure it doesn't <coughs> curdle you don't want it to get hot too fast. You wouldn't want to shock it. <laughs> like, like Frankenstein. Never mind. Okay, that was the joke. <laughs> yeah. So now that we got the yogurt in, I'm going to mix it up a little. Keep it at a really low temperature. Say medium low, not too low, just a medium low. See that it's not curdling it's nice and creamy i'm gonna add my lemon juice you pre-squeeze lemon or you use bottled lemon oh i pre-squeeze my lemon honey who buys bottled lemon i mean i don't mind a bottled lemon from you know like a <coughs> margarita or drink but i don't, I don't know eight want to know what yogurt do for soup? Taste, taste of soup, taste wise. Oh, it gives it a nice creamy, kind of a, uh, I would say, I don't want to say gamey, but like it gives it this creamy, animalistic taste to it. Adds, mm. it animalistic it. taste, my favorite taste. I, I love, I love goat's milk. I'm adding the, the spinach now, some baby spinach. Let that what adult in. spinach look like? Like this, with, but with bigger leaves. Oh. <laughs> Don't have beards. Oh, I haven't seen a, a bearded spinach, but I'll let you know. You haven't seen one. bearded spinach? Have that's you? That's my favorite, yeah. Oh, that's probably mold honey. Yeah, probably. I like that too. Yeah, I've just seen it. So... This looks like a lot of spinach, but, you know, spinach will shrink down a lot. And this is going to be done in about 
two minutes or so. That's not very long at all. Not long at all. I was just distracting so you, you, cause you're not in the, oh, thanks Nat for the host. Host, good. You and DJ Hunchback's house now. <laughs> we're going back that way, oh no, okay. Yeah, that good. yeah. Hey, Muse said you could put 20 pounds of spinach and it would shrink to the size of Penny. You are absolutely correct. Yeah, that you is, see how much she that put. That is science. Let go. think I've ever met you, but you sound like a cool person. Thanks for the host. Because, you know, I'm, I'm DJ Hunchback. So I think this is about done. Hmm. Should I start serving it up? Uh, we do that now? I don't... We... I don't know what we do now. This, oh. I mean, I can add it to this bowl and show how to serve it. Yeah, you want to see how to serve? Yes. Okay, she show you. I'll show you how to serve it because I'm about to eat some of this bitch. So, Vex want to know, you think it done? Just hunch? How you know it done? <laughs> because it's done. <laughs> The, the quinoa and lentils came in. Oh, it's just a hunch. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little slow here. I'm a little slow. Need a little protein. And I just got that one. Just, <laughs> that one was so good. That was so well hidden. That good. Good. Fun good. High five. High, high five. five. High, high five. Oh, once on DJ Hunchback has better soundboard. He have sound for pun. Go. So I got in the bowl. Just is the bowl showing? The bowl shows. Now what so, you do? Just gonna top it with a little. You usually wait to cool a little bit. In a real life. In real life, it'll cool a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll add a little bit of this crumbled goat cheese. So there are two parts of goat in here. Oh yes. Very sacred. <coughs> and then I'm going to top it with also a little sprig of a little bit of chopped parsley. Or ripped up parsley. There we go. Parsley. And oh, then this remember is when people put parsley on plates? A giant sprig of parsley and a lemon or an orange. Welcome to... 2019. Also, I think the sun go down, so our light different now. <laughs> maybe, maybe pull that away. How do I do that? Oh. Uh, maybe not. Okay. I got it. That Bam. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm also going to top it with some uh, lemon pepper. I DJ, DJ Hunchback, think. A different song for for uh for bowling. They're probably too loud. Is it on or Or too loud. Oh, 
on you now. Oh. This good song for <laughs> for bowling, maybe. So here we go. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of lemon pepper. And there you go. A delicious bowl of magical. Boy. Yeah, old hives. Magical. Magical. Maybe, maybe hold up to that camera. That better. Slop. Hold up to top. Slop. Especially when these scary sounds. Slop of the sabbatic goat. The soup don't make that sound at your house. Unless you have DJ Hunchback over. Okay, you miss it. It's, you can put it down now. Oh. So. Sun God says lactose intolerant. How could you make without goat milk? Um, actually people who are lactose intolerant usually can have goat's milk because it's it's actually easier to digest than like cow milk. But if you can't have cow milk, I'm not sure if there is a way to make it taste the same. You can try almond milk, but I'm not sure because the goat's milk really makes it. It could be another soup. It just won't be slop of sub the sabbatic goat. It'll be a t totally different soup. It'll be, you know, a hearty quinoa lentil vegetable soup. So you are done? I am I am complete. She done? Mmm. Anyone have any other last minute questions? We have to wait for lag. Okay, well, yes, we're gonna do that and then reset for uh, karaoke. DJ Hunchback and special guest, Gertie. Gertie Gunk. Goomshoe, whatever, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we're gonna do karaoke in a bit. Uh, maybe, how long? Uh, it'd be a bit. Uh, probably like hour and a half, hour and a half. No, one hour one and hour. and a half. Another another half to the hour. Like, was that not seventy minutes? I have no idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not. As you can see, DJ Hunchback don't know all things. So, uh, just we. Uh, if you like the follow, we like follows. That's good. Um, I think we'll probably try to do this more often with different special creature guests. But DJ Hunchback will always be the same because he doesn't like to change his face. So he will be here. Make new spooky song. Ah, uh, well, thank you all. Thanks, y'all. Uh, check back later for karaoke. Don't know when, but oh, wait. Ah, <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, ah, uh, now I put on, I leave recipe up for a little bit and you guys can talk. So the stream won't end all right now. I guess people do that. Okay. Thank no, you all. No, no. You all are great. <laughs> good night. I mean, see you later because you're going to do karaoke. I didn't turn my tits off, so that's nope. a good sign. They're still there. Yep. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Can you push that button? Yep. Okay. It's still going to be up, though. And I'm going to...